Welcome to The Minister's Cat, Ekism. The Minister's Catechism will help us drink in the milk of God's Word by asking questions and giving us answers from the Bible. Welcome to The Minister's Catechism. Question number 10. In question number nine, we learned that God's one master plan has three parts, creation, providence, and salvation. Question number 10 is this. What is meant by God's work of creation? By God's work of creation, we mean that God made everything out of nothing. The Bible begins, in the beginning, God. He has always been. He always will be. He is eternal. Going back through time, nothing else is eternal. Which means that when God created things, there was nothing there for him to use. No old material floating around in space that he could upcycle. There wasn't even space. The first things God ever made, he made out of nothing. Once he'd made something, then he could make other things from it. But to begin with, he made out of nothing, which is why we say God's work of creation was creating out of nothing. Genesis 1, verses 1 and 2 tell us, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, empty, and darkness was over the face of the deep. By God's work of creation, we also mean that God made everything in six days, just six days. When we make things that are amazing, it takes us a long time. We have to plan and think about it a lot. We have to spend time collecting the materials together. Then we can sometimes get tired and have to stop doing the work. Or we make big mistakes and have to spend time putting it right. But with God, he is infinite. His mind is infinite. He can plan things instantaneously. His power means that he can do things in no time at all. And his wisdom means that he never makes a mistake, so he doesn't have to correct things. And so, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and the light. That was the first day. And then on the second day, God divided the waters on the surface of the earth and he separated them and put some above the earth and in between there was the sky. On day three, he separated the waters on the earth so the dry land appeared and he filled the dry land with plants. And then into space, he puts the sun and the moon and all of the stars and the planets. And then... On day five, he filled the sky with birds and the seas and the rivers with fish, lots of creatures. And on day six, the last day of creation, God created all the land animals and that special creature, man, Adam and Eve. On the seventh day, God had finished all the work of creation. There was nothing for him to do in the work of creation, so he stood back, enjoyed looking at creation, but he enjoyed his life beyond creation. And then, by God's work of creation, we also mean that God created everything by his powerful word. In Psalm 33, verse 6, we read, By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and by the breath of his mouth all their host. In verse 9, he spoke, and it, the earth, came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. Now, birds hatch from eggs and lions are born as cubs. Plants grow from seeds and human beings have mums and dads. But at creation it was different. God simply spoke and the birds were there. He spoke and the lion cubs were there. He spoke and the plants were there. He did something different with human beings. He did more than just speak. But we'll learn about that in another question. 
But God created everything by his powerful word. The Apostle Peter tells us that God will one day speak again a powerful word and creation will end. The Apostle Paul tells us that everyone who's trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ will be changed. In an instant, in the twinkling of an eye, by the power of God and the word of God, we shall become part of the new creation, physically. God's powerful word. So, God made everything out of nothing in six days by his powerful word. That's what we mean by creation. Now, here is a verse that will uh, teach us and remind us about God's work creation. By faith, we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of the things that are visible. Hebrews 11 verse 2. By faith, we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. Good verse to remember. Question 10. What is meant by God's work of creation? By God's work of creation we mean God made everything out of nothing in six days by his powerful word. Thank you for joining me for question 10. Join me again for question number 11.